If you are trying to play the Battlefield 2042 Open Beta on your Windows 10 PC or laptop, but unfortunately are encountering a few network problems, perhaps you can't even boot into the game because it's disconnecting you, or when you do finally get into a game it boots you out due to some sort of network issue, then don't worry because in this video we will be taking a look at six things that you can do which will hopefully resolve the problem you're having. But before we get started, if you haven't already done so and you do enjoy this video, then make sure you do subscribe to our channel if you want to see more Battlefield 2042 videos on how to increase the FPS, improve the performance, and I will also be showing you how to fix any other problems you might experience with Battlefield 2042 when it gets released. So the first thing you want to do if you're using a wireless network connection is to plug your computer or laptop directly into your router. Not only does using a cable make your connection more stable, it will definitely improve how well the game runs, as this will stop a lot of lagging issues. So I definitely recommend you plug the cable in. Also, if you're using network adapters, then they can cause a lot of problems as well. So if you don't have any option but to use wireless, but you're using some sort of network boosters or something like that, go ahead and unplug them or turn them off and just use the wireless on your laptop or PC connecting directly to your router, as this can also help when it comes to network issues. So the next thing you want to do is simply ensure Windows is up to date. So to do this, you need to right click on the start menu icon. You then need to go to settings. You now need to click on to update and security and you now need to click on to check for updates if there is a check for updates option. As you can see, I don't have the button because it has actually detected that I have a new update that I can install. So if you do have new updates to install, go ahead and install these updates as they will hopefully resolve the issues you're having in Battlefield 2042. So once you've done all that, then the next thing we want to do is just ensure our security software is not blocking Battlefield 2042 open beta. Because if your firewall or any other security that you're using on your computer is blocking Battlefield from being able to connect to the internet, then you will not be able to play the game. So to check this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in firewall. You now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall this only applies to anyone that's using the Windows Defender Firewall. If you have a third party security software, you will need to go into the settings of that program and then figure out how you can allow Battlefield 2042 internet access. Or the other thing you can do is temporarily disable the security software you're using, launch Battlefield and then see if you do not have the issues. If you don't, then it, you know it's your security software. If you do still have the problems, then you know it's not your security. But obviously just keep in mind you will not be protected from security threats when you disable your security software. So once you're in Windows Defender, you now need to click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. You now need to find Battlefield in the list below. And once you've found Battlefield 2042, you need to ensure it's got a tick under private. As you can see, mine does. If yours doesn't, you then need to click on change settings and you then need to tick the box and then simply press OK. Also, if you cannot find Battlefield in the list, then you can click on allow another app and then you can add the battlefield2042.exe manually and then click on the box. So once you've done all that, the next thing we want to do is go to the install location of your game. So I installed mine through Steam, so I need to go to my Steam apps, common and the Battlefield 2042 open beta folder. Once you have gone to the location of the game folder, you then need to open up the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. You now need to double click on the Easy Anti-Cheat setup file, and you now need to go Repair Service. So this is going to repair the Easy Anti-Cheat for Battlefield 2042. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and launch the game and see if it fixed the issue. If it didn't, we now want to close this down, go back to the main section of the folder. You now need to find the battlefield.exe. As you can see, it's here on mine. You now need to right click onto it and you then need to go to properties. And you now need to click onto compatibility. 
and we want to simply tick the run this program as an administrator. You now need to press apply and OK and you can now go ahead and launch the game again. So once you do get into the game, hopefully that has then resolved the network issues. If it didn't, then stay in the game because the next setting we want to change is within the game. I'm going to launch my game now. Okay, once you have the game open, you now need to select options. And you now need to select the general tab and you will then see an option for crossplay. You now need to turn this off and you will no longer be able to play with console players. However, this will hopefully help resolve some of those network issues as well. Also, while you're in the options, it might be worth going onto the network tab and then just simply changing the hide to always under show network performance stats. So you can see what is exactly going on when you're in game with your network. So that now does bring me to the end of this video, but also before we finish off, one more other thing you can do if you're using it, is if you're using a VPN, is to turn off your VPN, and then try giving the game a go as well, as that can also sometimes cause network problems. So I hope you did enjoy this video and it helped you out. If you did, smash the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.